Hello, this is John Canalopoulos. It's uh, mid-August here in Athens, but we are at work today. Uh, this is a 17-year-old um, boy or young gentleman that we treated a month ago. And we can see here uh, the eyes still are healing. Of course, I left for last to tell you we performed uh, cornea cross-linking with the Athens protocol for advanced keratoconus in that eye. The other eye is not significantly involved. Let's go and look at the um, one month data as far as the Pentacam comparisons. And uh, we're gonna go see the uh, absolute numbers here and look at the keratometries 42, 46.6, max Ks 51.1. And these are the miraculously improved images today with max Ks in the 48. Uh, you can see the impressive part here and the difference. Uh, and we have a flattening of the cone of about uh, seven diopters here. It's not just the flattening of the cone, it's the fact that this is done right where the cone was. So this shows the second rotation adjustment that the X500 did in this uh, topography guided normalization. Other things to note here, which unfortunately are, are very commonly under noticed and under reported, is the steepening of the superior part of the cornea and see how flat it is here and how now it's steepened and how the cornea has normalized. And although the keratometries have improved dramatically, let's look at the topometric indices improvement. We've reported, and you all know now how we judge these, we go from a IHD of 131 to an IHD of 27. This is a miraculous, and I'm sorry to use such dramatic terms, but I'm still impressed to the day since we described this technique back in 2005, uh, how uh, the topographic partial refraction correction can normalize this extremely regular cornea uh, of course, we're still early. Here, fracks to about a minus three and sees uh, 20, 25. Let's look at the epithelial maps. Uh, we're going to look uh, where we are now as far as the epithelium. We're at one month, and of course, the treatment and the toxicity of the topical steroids uh, give us still blue maps in the uh, OptiView um, uh, Avanti device. Uh, but the great news here is the cross linking line. See how deep and how wide it is, is 67% uh, cornea depth. And uh, we're almost at nine millimeters uh, width uh, with the cross linking, giving us the security of um, the efficacy of this treatment. Of course, the thin cornea here uh, reveals the area of the cone. And we're expecting now that we're trimming down the dexamethasone drops to uh, low to max twice a day for a month. Uh, and uh, seawater, very uh, uh, abundant, in, in our area uh, will help turn these maps green and then we'll have uh, more reliable numbers as far as refraction and healing. Of course, still the danger here is UV exposure. We've reported how it can be particularly uh, insidious in younger adults. So we're advising um, um, always at uh, sun exposure uh, glasses that hug the eyes, um, a cap, and of course a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. Let's go back, look at the other eye. The other eye is uninvolved uh, currently, but um, we're gonna follow very closely the epithelial maps on the uh, other left healthy eye, because although he's 20-20 in that eye and his uh, topographies are not bad, you can see that the epithelium dynamics reveal that the cone here is active. Images today are a little bit better than they were back in November of 19, probably from us uh, rather him being tired hearing us uh, tell him and his parents every time we see him, do not rub your eyes. So to wrap up, let's go look at the Pentacam maps uh, before and at one month. Uh, this is the miracle of employing the Athens protocol for keratoconus in a young adult. We don't not only have stabilization of the cone, but a dramatic uh, reforming of the cornea and uh, opening the road for this young gentleman to be able to correct it either with spectacle glasses and um, if the residual cornea thickness uh, permits, maybe a second refractive procedure to also achieve a metropia. But uh, diagnose these patients early, scan every, every adolescent uh, in puberty for keratoconus, do not rely on the visual acuity. This is John Canlapolis, thanks so much for uh, checking with us on the post-op one month after cross-thinking with the Athens protocol.